Good morning, and it is a good morning. I'm doing 20 miles on this glorious Saturday morning. I gotta be honest with you, I stopped running. Okay, so maybe I didn't stop running, but I did take the last couple days off. You see, on Thursday, I woke up at 5 a.m. to do my run, and I was just tired. My body was telling me that it needed more rest. So that's what I did. I rested. I slept in a bit and I didn't go running. Friday morning I woke up still feeling a little more tired than usual. So I didn't run that day either. See, I've always run off of feel. Oftentimes I'll try and take it easy to build that aerobic base. Occasionally my body says, okay, I'm ready to push it. Other days, my body says, you need to slow down a little bit because I'm still recovering from the last workout. I think it's not only important to run off of feel in the moment of running to know how your body is doing and reacting to what you're putting it through, the stress that you're putting it through, but I think it's also important to understand how your body feels during the other 22 to 23 hours of the day that you're not running. You see, those other hours of the day when you're sleeping, eating, recovering are likely at least as important as the actual run itself when it comes to improving your fitness and your capabilities. And I think it's important to be in tune to your body because if your body is telling you something's not right here, you need to be careful or, you know what, I'm really tired today. Maybe you should listen because it would be better to take a day or two off like I did rather than sustain some sort of injury or overuse and then really be at the detriment of your training. But what do you think? Really be interested to hear your comments on how you listen to your body, how you recover between runs. And if you think it's more important to maybe take a day off or two, or do you just kind of power through that and push through that? Where's that balance? Let me know in the comments what you think. I've often said to run consistent. That's part of my motto, be consistent. And I think that not only applies directly in your running to go out and put in the miles, but it also means be consistent in taking care of yourself. See, it's not only being consistent in your training, but being consistent in how you recover from that training. Recovery is all part of your training too. All right, I'm gonna get back to my run. Enjoy the rest of this 20 mile run. As always, be consistent, express gratitude, and enjoy every mile. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. You just wanna play, don't you? What you got there? A toy. Yeah. There it is, 20 miles. but I still need to round the corner to get to the house. Let's see what the family's up to. Hello! Daddy! What are you guys doing? We're eating breakfast. Dad, can we go on a run today? Sure.